Welcome to the Stardew Valley ASMR experiment. I thought Stardew Valley is kind of a relaxing game. And ASMR is relaxing too. So why not combine both for the ultimate relaxation experience? <coughs> Sorry about that. <sighs> so, um, start really, right? <sighs> that's quite, uh, that's quite a game. Um, what you're hearing now is, uh, I'm shaking my G Fuel right now. G Fuel is pretty nice. I'm gonna sip on it now. Uh, noise. <sighs> so, whatever. I recorded this footage like one month ago and I, t I totally forget what happens in it. <sighs> so, uh. I'm making truffle oil, I guess. Truffle oil is so profitable. It's crazy. I'm making so much money with it. It's amazing. I could run a farm with only pigs, I guess. I like having the, the diversity of uh, rabbit. I got one rabbit. I got a couple. I got three hens, I think. And then um, lots of ducks. Cause the duck eggs are pretty pricey, some goats, I think I got one cow, and uh, I got like five pigs, that's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, the truffle oil is so so cheap and profitable, I, I could have just pigs, screw the vegetables and all that shit, and have just pigs. And make a shit ton of money. That's uh, that's the ticket. Truffle oil is amazing. Uh, you just have to let the pigs roam around. Uh, it's, it's all good. <sighs> yeah. I try uh, keeping a little bit of everything, you know. I got one fruit tree of each, except there's only five out of six because I chopped one down by accident because I'm a real dumbass. But yeah, I got clumsy with uh, while removing whatever bean stalks or some shit. But I got I got a lot of fruit trees. I mean, I got at least one of each. And yeah, I've I've, I've making stocks of a lot of stuff, just in case. You know, somewhat sometimes the villagers sends you messages, or they post it on the, you know, in front of Pierre's grocery store, because they need specific vegetable or fruit or uh, egg milk whatever so i try to always have at least one of each on hand and it's also useful uh, to cook i started cooking real late in stardew valley i did basically no cooking for the first two years and now i'm real late on my cooking I've tried maybe only 10 recipes of the whole cookbook. So I'm trying to get all the achievements. And, uh, well, this is gonna take some time. <coughs> yep. But I'm not, I'm not in a hurry, so I don't really care. It'll take the time it'll take. <sighs> Autumn is my 
favorite uh, season in the Stardew Valley. Uh, as far as the visuals go, it's pretty. It's really pretty. All these uh, pinks and oranges and all that. It looks like uh, the outside are in a permanent state of um, twilight. Um, sunset, you know. It's very thin wave. And y'all know how, how much I love synthwave aesthetics. <coughs> I always forget uh, to go to uh, the, the, that girl with her uh, mo mobile home and her, her really, really cool pig with the shades. There's a lot of, uh, he's got fast too. That's amazing. Yeah, she's got a lot of interesting rare items and uh, without her, I, I never could have uh, finished the quests for the community center. I'm especially really bad at fishing and I got a few of the rare fish. Uh, I didn't catch it myself, I bought it from her. Yep. By the way, I discovered a bug. Um, if you go and, and, and talk to her, and then you buy everything she has, then if you go to um, talk to her again, the game crashes. That's by that's. That's the only time I had a big bug in Stardew Valley. Usually some very small, barely noticeable stuff, but that was pretty brutal. The game crashed on me. Ugh. Whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what I'm doing right now. I think I'm going to fetch some uh, hardwood in the secret uh, forest. What the fuck am I doing? What is happening there? I don't remember. Yeah, I recorded this like in early December, like basically a month ago, maybe more than a month ago. So I, I don't remember at all what the fuck am I doing half of the time. It's a game that is really, uh, really you have two ways to play it. You can plan everything you do and have a real strategy to maximize your profits. Or, uh, you know, to reach certain goals. And I hate playing like that. I know that some people, especially some fucking nerds, really get their kicks by, by trying to make the perfect strategy and the perfect planning for the, the perfect game where I know it's, it's some fucking virgin engineer shit. But... There's another way to play the game, which is just, you know, <coughs> go with the flow, you know, just go with the flow and uh, improvise a lot. I mean, you still learn a lot of shit. You still learn that um, truffle oil is really profitable and duck mayonnaise and and all that shit and you, you, you it's not 100 percent improvisation there are some basic rules that you integrate pretty early in the game but still i don't like planning too much in games just like in life for that matter I like going with the flow. 
I think is much more fun. Like that. Oh my god. I'm doing some organization of, of the, my fucking... Um, Ah, uh, chests. <laughs> chests. <sighs> this can be really boring, so... Uh, if you're watching this, like to fall asleep. Fucking perfect. You've chosen the, the right... Um, you've chosen the right... Um, episode or, or whatever. The right video. <sighs> anyway, I have a notification on my phone. Wait a minute. Gotta read this shit. It's my, it's my nephew's birthday. I'm so bad with birthdays. I'm, I'm so bad with birthdays that sometimes I forgot, I forget mine. That's how bad I am with birthdays. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing some boring shit on the farm. Not doing much stuff. It's uh, about 5 p.m. And I've done basically nothing. What a disgrace. And the dog is like stuck. I've said it already on previous um, Stardew Valley videos. But yeah. Something that would be great to uh, have in uh, upcoming updates would be more interactions with your pet. I don't know, maybe you could take your dog with you when you're going to the mines or... Uh, I don't know. Maybe participate in some kind of beauty contest, some shit. Or maybe just, I don't know, be able to walk around with your dog I guess it would be different uh, if you have a cat because cats are not really interactive they just like laying around and look smug it's, ki it's kind of baffling to me why people always choose cats oh fuck that was right into the mic um, but what I was saying is it's kind of baffling to me why people would choose cats as pets as like the the worst option for a, for a pet um, is a, a fucking cat and people who have cats they they always hate the fuckers like when people talk to you about their dogs, it's always, oh, he's amazing, oh, he did this, he did that, he, he brought me a beer from the fridge, uh, he's, uh, he's always there for me, he's, uh, we're having fun together, and people who have cats, it's always, oh, I hate this piece of shit, he broke my, my remote control of my TV, and he pissed all over the house, and, and, and uh, he, he hates me, and, and, and all that, and it's so fucking weird. Why, why would people choose cats as pets? It's like the worst pet you could ever have. Like, I've known people who had pet squirrels. And these fuckers, they are, they are so... It's like they're on cooking all the time. They, 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 they run, they, they jump, they are 
so energetic, like it's it's way too much to keep inside a house. It's ludicrous. But yeah, I've seen I've seen a lot of, of people who had questionable choices for pets like venomous snakes or a, a tarantula or a, um, what else can I think of of pet that is a bad idea but not as bad as a fucking cat. Um. How, uh, Most pets are pretty cool, I guess. I love dogs. Rodents are chill. Except fucking hamsters. Hamsters also suck. They're not... They're really not friendly. They sleep all the time. They're aggressive. Yeah, hamsters are not nice. Well, it's another pet that I really don't, don't get. Why the fuck? Would you have a hamster, you know? Like, I get why you would want a snake or a, a tarantula or something like that, because it's quirky and, and also it's kind of badass. I had a friend who was a, a, a real goth, you know, a real goth girl. And uh, she had a pet uh, tarantula. So, you know, I get that. And I get also uh, lizards. I think lizards are pretty chill, pretty cool. Like I'm, I'm, I'm seeing lizards, but uh, iguanas too. I don't know if iguanas count as lizards. I don't know if the iguanas are lizards or uh, cousins of lizards. Um, by the way, yeah, my cousins had a had a pet turtle for a while. It was really nice. <laughs> Turtles are so cool. I love turtles. One of my favorite animals. Uh, what else? Geckos. Are geckos lizards? Lizards? Like are are geckos lizards? I have no idea. But yeah, I guess they're pretty cool. Crickets make good pets. I heard. I really believe it. Crickets are, are small and cute, and then make this really nice noise. Yeah, that's pretty chill. What else? Uh, foxes? No, I never heard of someone who had a pet fox. Apparently, it's like absolutely impossible to domesticate. And it's, it's really smelly. Oh yeah, hedgehogs. My hedgehogs are small and cute, and and they're pretty chill. So, uh, oh, you know what? What I heard that makes a great pet. And I was really surprised. Octopus. Apparently, octopus. I I've heard about octopus. Like they're the puppies of the sea. Apparently, they're really sweet. And really smart. So they're basically, yes, yeah, sea, sea dogs. And uh, they're really, really cool to have. Uh, although I imagine it can be hard to, um, to take care of them. I don't know. I guess you need a, a, a big aquarium. Uh, but yeah, uh, Octopuses or, or octopi, depending on, on how pedantic you are. Apparently, they make really great pets. Of course, uh, every fish. I mean, if you got an aquarium, are you willing to? Uh, uh, the issue with fish is like it's more of a commitment than most people imagine. Um, yeah, aquariums are expensive and they take a lot of space, so, um, 
it's not as a, it's not as convenient a solution as a lot of people made it out, make it out to be. Thanks, Abigail. Make yourself useful. Abigail has a um, guinea pig. Guinea pigs are so cool. I give her a wild bloom. She makes me think of a, of a wild bloom. I, th I thought she appreciate the <sighs> similarity, but apparently she doesn't. So, pets. What was it saying? Oh yeah. Aquariums are expensive and they're big as shit. And, and it's harder to take care of fish than most people seem to think. Yeah, the, the, the average lifespan of a goldfish is 30 years. So if your goldfish dies after only a few months or a, or a couple of years, you've, you've done something very, very wrong. Obviously. Yeah, average life of a goldfish, 30 years. It's it's a really long commitment. It's longer than a than a dog or a cat. It seems weird to a lot of people. But the fact that their life is short is one of the reasons why I like rats so much. Cause there's an intensity in that. You really always try to make the best of every day you you, ha you have with them. And, uh, yeah. You never get bored with those little fuckers. Originally, the, um, the lifespan of a wild rat is under a year, and the, the fact that we've domesticated them, we've greatly increased their, uh, their lifespan. Even if in the, in the wild they basically have no predators. The biggest predator of the rat is uh, the owl, and also the falcon. But yeah, that's, uh, they don't really have predators. So uh, there's a lot of factors that 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 come to play. But basically, a wild rat has a lifespan of I think it's eleven months, and uh, a domestic rat, like a domesticated rat, like. Uh, a lab rat or, or pet rat is exactly the same. Uh, two and a half years on average. So, uh, I forgot the point I was trying to make. But I, I, I'm making some truffle oil, so uh, that's more important. Yeah, and some goat cheese and, and some duck mayonnaise. I'm gonna be fucking rich. Honestly, I made so much money on that third year. Like, I've made much, much more money on the third year of playing Stardew Valley than on year two, one and two combined. By the way, it's almost... It's almost two years that the game has been released. That's crazy. Yeah, I think it was released in um, March or April of 2016. I've been playing it so much since then. That's, that's one of the games that, that I really played a lot in 2006 and uh, 2017. That and uh, the first Dark Souls. I played so much Dark Souls. 
like if you, I've been playing. I've been playing it over and over again. And uh, yeah, right now it's inst I've been I've been trying to um, you know figure out different ways to, but especially to start the game. You know, and to uh, spend your experience points. I made a strength build, I made a dex build. Whatever else. I, I, I made three builds. Um, one was strength, one was dex, one was quality, I think. And, um. Yeah, I, tr I try to figure out a lot of different uh, routes to um, to play the game, and uh, you know, because it's basically it's not really open world, but it's basically open world, and apart from a couple uh, details, you can. You can take on the bosses in basically the, the, order, the order you want. And same for the, a lot of areas. There's not really a definite order. You know, it's not like Sonic where you, you have to go to World 1 and then you go to World 2 and all that. No, it's... Uh, where you start... Um, well, not exactly where you start because you start in Indian Dead Asylum and you have to go through there. But then you, you're, you're taken by a giant um, a crow, I think it's a crow, or a blackbird, not sure. Um, but yeah, I think it's a crow, because uh, in, in Japan, crows are, are a symbol of um, good luck, I think, or good news, something like that. And anyway, after that, you arrive at the Firelink Shrine, and that's... Uh, that's where you get to choose what you're gonna do next. Obviously, the thing to do, if, especially if you're a beginner, is to go to uh, the the undead village. The undead village. You know the the undead um, town or whatever, whatever it's called. To go to the undead parish and fight the 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 gargoyles on top of the um, church uh, thing. You know, to ring the first bell. But uh, there are other th there are other things you can do. You can go to um, the catacombs, for example, which is a really really bad idea, but you can. And there are ways to uh, tackle the challenge. It's gonna be really difficult, but it can be quite fun. Of course, if you're a beginner and you don't know what you're doing, the catacombs are gonna be worse than hell. But, um, you know what is actually even worse, in my opinion, than the catacombs? Fucking, uh, New Londo ruins. <laughs> oh, man. New Londo ruins. Even as a seasoned player, I hate it. That's like... I mean, it, uh, ex because of the ghosts. The shit that you... The shit that's at uh, the end, with the dark wraiths and all that. I can deal with it, because usually I'm a much higher level and uh, there are way to cheese the Dark Wraiths. I'm not proud of that, but I do a lot of cheesing in Dark Souls, because the, the AI is really the weakest point of the game. And um, I don't always cheese. Sometimes I don't cheese. Sometimes just... Uh, take a fast weapon and use the fact that they're pretty slow to have the advantage. I I don't give a fuck. I've played Dark Souls for um, I don't know hundreds of hours total, and I've I've tried a lot of different combinations of a lot of stuff and um, whatever people say, the Uchi Gatana. Is in my opinion the best weapon for most use cases and it is definitely the best weapon if you want to have fun playing the game and I mean that in um, I don't know about PvP I've never tried PvP I'm not 
into online multiplayer. I've tried it a bunch of times and I never really enjoyed it. Well, the, the closest I had to have fun was Counter-Strike a long time ago. But yeah. Yeah, I, n I never really got into um, online multiplayer. And so I've never tried PvP in Dark Souls. I know a lot of people think it's um, maybe the best aspect of the game, but, but I don't give a shit. It's, it's such a great game anyway. Everything about it is perfect. I love the combat system. I mean, calling it system is a big bad word, but you know, you know what I mean. And um, the music is great, the atmosphere is great, the design, the aesthetics, um, the gameplay, the the, the the way you you go around. I mean, uh, there's, it's not really a game that has a lot of flows. Actually, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of a flow, and I, I don't really see one. Uh, it's just like Stardew Valley. Hey, yeah, really, this is probably the two games that really defined my year, 2017. Um, I mean, not really, because I played Stardew Valley uh, a lot at the end of 2016, really. Uh, I think I started playing in November, and I, I played it for uh, basically two months straight. And 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 then there were breaks, and uh, but usually I play Stardew Valley for like a few weeks. I, I play really a lot, like from from the morning, from <laughs> from dawn till dusk. And uh, I don't know. It's a game that uh, you really get into it. And uh, when I start playing it, I, I don't want to play anything else, and I, I don't want to do anything else. And that's the same for Dark Souls. Yeah, those are two games that are really, really different, but they're similar in the way that I approach them. It's not exactly that they're addictive. Um. It's just that they're really, really enjoyable, I guess. But yeah, as I said um, in my video about uh, the year in review, you know, 2017, the year in review, uh, the one hour and a half long video, was stupidly long that I made um, a couple weeks ago. Well, I was saying that for a really long time, that from um, the middle of my teen years and until the, the, the my late twenties, basically, I've been a really hipster doofus. Uh, I've been avoiding most um, mainstream media, and that was uh, cinema, uh, TV, um, uh, music and video games so um i've spent the past couple of years uh, playing a lot of classics that i have missed that i had missed so i've tried um for, for during the past couple of years i've tried bioshock mass effect um half-life 2 um what else the Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. Um, uh, what else? Portal 2. Um, I, I started talking about this because I wanted to mention one specific game. And I can't. <laughs> um, I can't remember the fucking name. <laughs>
classic game that I've played recently. But that is not exactly recent. Oh fuck, yeah. Skyrim. Um, I, I played a lot of Skyrim. In uh, late 2017. It's really different than what I thought it would be. And it's not as good as, as I expected it. Uh, given all the... Um, all the people who seem to love it so much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really get it. It's not a bad game by any means. It doesn't have any major flaws but it's uh it's really fucking boring and repetitive i think and uh the quests are really different from each other but all feels and i would say it's really mediocre the story is average the gameplay is average the music is average Pretty much everything about this game is average. I mean, the visuals are pretty. It looks nice. Uh, that's about it. That's about what, what I have to say about Skyrim. And I totally forgot why I started play, uh, talking about Skyrim in the first place. You see how bad I am at fishing? Well, let's go back to the game. Let's go back to Stardew Valley. Um, you see how bad I am at fishing? God damn it. I, I struggle to, uh, to get a stupid anchovy. I mean, at least I got it. Like, f for the first two years of playing Stardew Valley. I mean, I mean, years in game. Not literal years, because I have not played it for three years, because it has not been released even three years ago. It was, I think, March or April 2016. And yeah, fishing is uh, really, really fucking hard in this game. It's definitely harder than Dark Souls. I'm not even joking. I'm not even kidding. It's serious. Fishing in Dark Souls is harder than Stardew Valley. Wait, fuck no, the other way around. God damn. Fishing in Stardew Valley is harder than uh, playing Dark Souls. Like, for real. Like, what the hell? Why is it so hard? <sighs> I don't get it. Anyway, I'm gonna let this day finish and, and end the video because it's gonna be too long. Uh, I, I think. And uh, maybe I'll make another one because I got a ton of footage. I got like two or three hours of footage. And I, what was I thinking? I don't know. But yeah. I've been recording for like 40 minutes now. I think it's probably enough. So, next time I'll try to talk a bit more about the gameplay and uh, comment uh, on what's happening on screen, I guess. I guess it's a better way to, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's better, but I'm gonna try this and then I'll see which one is better. And if they're both bad, well, this will be the last day ASMR I do ever. Unless I get some kind of revelation or epiphany. Maybe I'll do some ASMR uh, music. That would be cool. Kind of like lower case, you know? You know lower case? There's a, there's a dude that I love um, called uh, Ryoji Ikeda. And he makes this really nice level case music. There's another one, but I forgot the name. Uh, I think it's uh, Alva Noto, but I'm not sure. 
I don't know why I'm still fishing. This is ludicrous. Uh, I'm not even doing this to complete the... Um, I think, I, I guess I was just practicing. I guess I was practicing. Because the winter was coming. And uh, I needed some winter fish for the, the fishing bundle. For the community center. I have just finished it. Um... Uh, uh, really recently, the fucking community center. Most of it was pretty easy. The hardest, I guess, was the money thing. I mean, not that w not that it was really hard getting the money, but just giving my money away like that. Uh, that was pretty painful. Wow. I was I was not making a lot of money at that time. And 10,000 seemed like a lot. Now it's... Basically what I make per day with all these truffles. So, uh... Yeah, it's a nice game. The, the multiplayer update is coming pretty soon. I'm 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 really excited about it. That new update and, and there's a lot of new content that is gonna come. Apparently, apparently you, know, you you take a submarine to go under the sea. There like there's a, I know that we all hate water levels. <laughs> like that fucking water level in in the first Sonic or um. The water temple in Ocarina of Time or you know whatever. There was a, a level with a submarine in Duke Nukem 3D. It was pretty shit, too. <sighs> uh, here I am trying to make trying to make food. And, uh, yeah. I'm really f I don't even have half the recipes in the book. I don't get it. You see all these question marks. I, I, don't, I don't know. And I watch TV every day. So um, I've watched every episode of The Queen of Souls. But I guess you gotta be more friendly to the villagers. There are a lot of the villagers that uh, it was easy for me to be friends with them. But there are a lot, I don't know, it's just... Uh, they just seem annoying to me. Anyway, I, 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 I guess I'm going to bed. Yeah. So, that's all for today. That was the Stardew Valley ASMR experiment. Part one. I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and um, maybe I'll make more. Cause I got s so many s fucking dumb footage that. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Right. Anyway, bye. That was um. That was yeah. I can I can speak normally now. I guess um. That was. The Exploding Fish Show, narrated by uh, yours truly, Crocodile Jeff Speed. And, um, well, um, you know the drill, right? Thumbs up if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and if you really fucking loved it, fucking super subscribe uh, to my Patreon, I guess. Or, uh, you know, check my other shit, because uh, I don't usually do ASMR, but I do a lot of gaming videos, especially Let's Plays, and uh, they're pretty cool, I, guess, I think. So, uh, thanks for, for watching, or maybe listening for an ASMR videos. I, get the, I guess the, the term listening is more accurate and appropriate, but uh, if you've... Um, if you've um, <laughs> If you've watched all that shit, then you're uh, basically an um, um, internet hero. And uh, I appreciate you a lot. Like, for real. Um, th uh, thanks, bitch. See you soon.